Would you look at that? We've got a new device from Oppo today, the Renault 8 5G. I believe in a number of different colors in front of me here. Completely new design that you've never seen before. This one on the far right says shimmer black. This one next to it says shimmer gold. These ones are unlabeled. Apparently they put a lot of energy and attention into the camera units on these devices. Inside the pack, you're gonna get a little clear case a right out of the box as well as a SIM tool paperwork. What does the device say itself? How about dual Sony flagship sensors? Ultra night video. Try on a little 80 watt super VOOC, why don't you? That's fast charging, by the way, and a MediaTek Dimensity 1300. Here is what that camera section looks like. Ah, yes. Very sleek, one single piece, smooth transition into the camera section. No hump, no bump, just smooth. Big camera units, circular flash as well. Now this is the black color, but it has like a bluish kind of undertone to it. Almost indigo, depending on the way the light is hitting it. You also have flat edges on the side for grip. Here is your power switch with a little green indicator. You're gonna have your USB type C connector on the bottom for that Super VOOC 80 watt. We have volume up and down and the SIM tray is also on the bottom next to that type C. Our front facing camera is in the top corner and it is a punch hole, hole punch style. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the power switch and then look at the other items in the box. I expect to find a fairly robust power brick to achieve that 80 watt super VOOC. And yes, that is exactly what I have found here. USB type A on this end. Here is the type C to type A, which will connect into that 80 watt power brick. Ooh, look at this, okay. Display, display, display where art thou. Here you are. We're checking for refresh, which is set to high. 90 hertz refresh on this device. Set it to standard for battery savings all the way down to 60 hertz. I would never do such a thing, but the option is there. 90 hertz gives you a little smooth groove. How about the screen to body ratio? Not too shabby. We open up the camera unit, catch a quick glimpse. There's a 50 megapixel mode. Of course, you see this big camera setup when you flip it around to the front. You're dealing with 32 megapixels on that front facing. Why don't we test that first? Wait, I'm too beautiful. We're going to natural in three, two. Do I want HDR? In three, two, this is a pretty wide selfie. I can get people in there. The beard is there, the strands are there, the intensity is there. Now, before we get into the main camera units, we do wanna check these other colors real quick. Renault 8, Renault 8 Pro, both 5G. Let's keep it together here. Ooh, how about that for a pearlescent, colorful, look at the way it reflects the light. Hmm. I don't know which one I'd go for, probably the dark one. This is kind of cool the way they've implemented this. It's really hard to pinpoint what the color actually is. I know they said gold. Really, with these reflections in studio, it's almost got like a rainbow gradient going on. So those are the eight. These are the eight pro over here. This is gonna be a different experience. Case is still included in the package, same as your SIM tool and the usual paperwork and so forth. Totally different setup here from a specification perspective. This is the one with the 4K ultra night video. This is the one with the Marisilicon X imaging NPU, MediaTek Dimensity 8100 Mac, and still we're in the same area for charging with 80 watt Super VOOC. This one feels, ooh, yes, that is different. Holy cow, the pro model is taking things to another level. So these cameras now are fully recessed. This is your IMX 766. This is your 1 over 1.56 sensor size as well as your 8 megapixel wide and your 2 megapixel macro. That's what's going on here. It's very luxurious feeling, a mirror finish to it. It's gonna be a little heavier than the other model. It feels more quality. Obviously it has pro in the name. Type C on the bottom, SIM tray down there as well, power switch with the green indicator on one side and volume up and down on the other. However, when you get to the front of the device, here we have a difference, which is the front facing camera. Unlike on this model, which places it in the top corner, this one makes things symmetrical and puts the front facing camera in the center. It's gonna be the same stuff, 80 watt, super VOOC, no problemo. Last color is that green that Mo was talking about. Look at this, woof. 
with the mirrored finish and the sea foam green. That was a color of a guitar that I wanted at one time. It was, it's actually kind of like this. I guess this is their brand color, really, when you look at the Renault boxes for the Renault 8 and 8 Pro. This is like a more subdued version of it. I can see people liking this color. It's unique. You do not see a lot of it. A spring tone, sort of. Ooh, all right. So yeah, the first thing you're noticing is the much slimmer bezel on the Pro model. Pretty close to symmetrical, like completely equivalent bezel around the entire edge. Let's go max brightness. Hmm. Display gets an upgrade on the Pro model also. Ah, it's personal preference where you want the front facing camera. And I gotta turn on this brightness because it's overexposed for the camera. That this, this one gets bright, which is good. This one goes up to 120 Hertz refresh. You can still lock it at 60. Whereas the standard model, it caps out at 90 Hertz on the refresh. This one feels very quality pricing around 450 USD for the pro model at first going to be available in India July 18th and then other countries this summer. So you're gonna have to keep it locked if you're interested in what is kind of a unique design at the moment. It's flat around the edges, but then all types of curves on the back. Now I'm gonna basically focus on the pro model here. Well, that means I get to remove the screen protector on here as well, double. A little bit more on the Mary Silicon X Imaging NPU based on six nanometer process and delivers super efficient AI computing at up to 18 trillion operations per second, which is higher than Apple's A15. Ooh, shots fired. Careful firing the shots though, dangerous stuff. This is AI noise reduction on 4K 30 frame per second video. Noise reduction is hard stuff. If you've ever had to apply it after the fact in a video editor, it's like, chugging along. Real-time lossless processing in the raw domain, Mary Silicon X can perform advanced AI processing to capture 4K video with up to 20-bit ultra dynamic range and an 8 dB signal to noise ratio improvement. They're very proud of their processing. Got it? Good. This of course plays out in the nighttime where they claim that this new model is far more capable of capturing dynamic range, 42.9% more capable than the previous version. Ooh, we have some terminology for this little ramp. They are calling it a micro arc with a 75 degree transition. They're calling the camera modules binocular with a ring flash inspired by vintage cinema cameras. So yes, this does feel a little bit more robust than the uh, non-pro model, but it's actually still only 183 grams and 7.34 millimeters thick. They claim that the battery is capable of 1600 charge cycles. That's four years of daily usage and you can charge it up to 50% in 11 minutes. All right, let's talk about the specs real quick. Oppo Reno 8 Pro versus Oppo Reno 8. The Pro model, 183 grams. As I told you, the back cover is made of glass. 6.7 inch FHD 2412 by 1080 flexible AMOLED, letting them get this incredibly slim bezel down in the chin section. 120 Hertz refresh. Dimensity 8100 max, Mary Silicon X, 8 gigs or 12 gigs of RAM and 256 storage, 50 megapixel IMX 766, 8 megapixel IMX 355. Macro camera over here, 32 megapixel Sony front facing camera, IMX 709. Battery size is 4,500 milliamp hours in here. I already mentioned the 80 watt Super Vuk charging. Let's flip over to the Reno 8 5G, 179 grams. Damn, it's only four grams different. Available in different colors like shimmer gold and shimmer black. 6.4 inch display FHD 2400 by 1080. AMOLED not flexible. We have that different slight different layout on the front, chin to forehead ratio and such. 90 hertz refresh rate, obviously you can lock it in 60 if you choose to. This is a MediaTek Dimensity 1300, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 storage. Same IMX 766 sensor for your main camera, 50 megapixel capable, and IMX 355 for your eight megapixel wide camera. Also 709 on the front with your 32 megapixel selfie camera. Battery size is the same at 4,500 milliamp hours. I don't have the price point on the non-pro model at the moment. You can assume that it's going to be less than the somewhere around 450 USD that the pro version will be sold for. Yeah, so let's go ahead, take a photo of the Supra first. Here's the Y, bam. Here is the One X. And let's get in there and crop a little bit, 2X, why don't we? 
HDR set to auto. We have this little AI button over here. AI scene enhancement, which is gonna affect low light situations. Why don't we just flip it around and do a little selfie real quick? Look, we have the same thing where we can go wide or close. Really what it's about is right here though. What are you smirking about? Now let's flip over to video and I'm going to leave the AI highlight video in the on setting, which they recommend for the sort of ultimate low light scenario that they've been talking about. I'm also obviously gonna leave the main camera unit as the one that I'm recording on, so. All right, so now I am recording a video clip on the Reno 8 Pro and the audio is actually coming through there as well. That's where you're listening. And as you can see, it's actually a pretty stable shot considering I don't have the ultra setting on for steadiness, but still as I walk around, it stays pretty fluid. I'm gonna approach and get up to this wheel right here. Ooh, Supra. Pretty amazing what you can shoot on a smartphone in 2022. Like good looking 4K video, it's kind of ridiculous. That's a cool video clip and surprisingly steady. Ooh, vibrant. Realistically, there's a bunch of people at this company who shouldn't be here. A bunch? What is a bunch? Uh-huh. Is, is that 50? Is that 500? Yeah. What is that? That's a nice image. That's that's a... Did you see the image? Mm -hmm. Flexible AMOLED, some low end in the audio. <laughs> I gotta go, guys. This too, that was just too emotional for me. I just, that hit me, got me right there. No, the speakers are good. This kind of has a bit of a flagship feel to it. The more I'm handling it here, it's comfortable to hold. The materials that are in use feel premium. The display is nice to look at. The symmetrical bezel around the outside. You saw the video sample. It's really amazing what you're doing. These days, 450 USD, you even get a little ramp for your camera system. No hump, no bump and some cool colors to choose from, and a budget option if you choose not to go pro. Kind of a compelling package they put together. Uh, obviously for me, it'd be about the pro model. It is the new Oppo Reno 8 Pro and Oppo Reno 8 5G. Well, they're both 5G. Which one would you choose?